This video is my thoughts that I'm sharing with myself, my own soul and my own mind first, and then with yourself as well, okay? If it resonates with you, if it makes sense to you, hit me up in the comment section, I'd love to hear from you. If you're looking to buy a property in Dubai and this video encourages you and pushes you and gives you that impetus, hey, there is a link below, hit it, click it, let's talk. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon. Show real fast. Hey guys, welcome back. Look, in this video, I want to talk about people who are absolutely driven versus the drifters, you know? The drifters. People who are just drifting around, but the people who are driven are super eagle focused to where they wish to go, and nothing come rainstorm on shine can actually take them away from the path that they're on. Whereas the drifters are kind of like drifting along, right? Things happen to them or they happen to things, okay? And this, I personally feel, is the biggest difference between a lot of people who come into the market when they're looking to invest in real estate, when they're looking to sell their properties, or if they're agents and are looking to become super duper good agents, okay? The driven commit, the drifters just think, okay? So I'm gonna talk about five things. Take care of these five things, okay? now. If you take care of three of these things, I think you'll be okay. And again, this is a reminder for myself and then to you, okay? If you agree, disagree, or wanna add anything in the comment section, please do so. I think it would benefit us all, okay? Number one, difference between the driven and the drifters. The people who are driven, they take action, right? Just do it, right? Like that Nike take, whereas over here, they think and they think and they think and i think there's nothing wrong with thinking but there is a lot of wrong with thinking only okay i like to think i like to analyze however at this age of 40 i've actually decided to figure i figured out that you know thinking 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 is great but then you just kind of take action because the moment you start taking action it just in the grand scheme of things helps you much much more it actually pushes you and gives you that difference between who you were yesterday and what you're becoming today and the greatness you're going to achieve tomorrow okay so the driven people take action drifters think and think and think Number two, okay, number two, okay, maybe we make this a little bit smaller, okay? Driven people are risk takers, okay? They take risk, whereas they are risk averse, okay? Now here's something that you might want to say to me and say, look, why are you encouraging us to take risk? Here's the deal, the risk takers take calculated risks okay i've always said this a lot of people are going to say entrepreneurs take risk entrepreneurs take calculated risks they don't go to the gambling den to a casino and just start start trying to gamble away their fortune no they take calculated risks in business where they feel that if they bring resources together they might be able to produce something that the world would buy from them Drifters are risk averse and there's one thing in life, there's nothing 100% risk free. Every time you get on your bicycle, your car, the airplane, the car, the shopping crate, whatever, there's always some element of risk involved in life and that's okay, right? Kind of adds the spice to life. Number three, people who are driven, trust. Now this has taken me some time to come across. They trust who? Themselves and others. They trust that others will actually deliver what they're saying they'll deliver and they trust themselves to take the steps forward. Over here, drifters don't trust. Now, you know what? You know, Sangha, a lot of people, when we talk about trust, it's when, you, when I ask you, Sangha, Okay, just as an example, if I ask you, do you trust others and you say yes, do you know when you say yes, it actually means you trust yourself? 
But when you say no, it actually means you don't trust yourself. Does that, you don't trust yourself to be able to be a good judge of other people. So drifters don't trust, but it's not about others. They don't even trust themselves. Oh my God. Ya Allah. Oh Allah, please help everybody, including us, to be able to trust when it's appropriate to trust, okay? So that it makes sense for you to be able to trust and move forward, all right? Number four, driven people are guided with faith. Whereas the drifters I guided with fear, okay? Oh my God, this guy's gonna fall out. The economy is going in a recession. What if that person cheats? What if this, da da da, da da da, da da da, da da da, no. Driven people have faith to move forward, okay? Last but not the least, driven people take aim and fire, right? Why? Even if you miss, even if you miss, you get closer to your target. Whereas the drifters never aim, never fire. So even if, so they actually 100% miss, okay? Look, if you're in the real estate camp of drifting along, you've missed at least three cycles of the Dubai real estate market. Don't continue to miss again and again and again. It's time to actually get on board, get inside and move forward. See if it actually makes sense for you to invest in real estate. Take action, take calculated risks, trust yourself, have the faith and take aim and fire so that you can actually benefit in the long term. You wanna agree, disagree, add something constructive, put it in the comment section, I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon. If you want to work with us, there is a link below. Hit it, click it. Let's talk. Let's get in touch. More than happy to help you with my merry band of advisors. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006. And since 2007, I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.